Hey friends, Wanda here. Hey, today I uh, thought we would uh, do the sun oven, get it pre-ready. That's the next step. Um, after I took all the film off, the um, solar panels, the protective film, I didn't video that. I figured you could figure that out. Um, but today we need to do this pre-cooking instructions before you start cooking in your um, sun oven. So I got all the uh, film off the panels. So now we need to go on to the next step. And this whole procedure part before you can start even cooking in it, you have to do these steps um, to get your sun oven prepared and ready. And this will take a couple hours to do on a good sunny day. And today, it's going to be 95, close to, and sunny. So I thought, well, it's still morning. It's like 11 here. And um, I figure, well, at least by 1, I should be done before the heat of the scorching heat gets here. <laughs> Whew, right? But I'm going to bring you along. But um, I did want to show you a couple things on the sun oven before we go outside. I'm gonna put it on my front deck. Um, you can use the ground, you can use a table, but my deck is right there and the sun is like right beaming right there. So I think that'll be a good spot and it'll be easier to get to. Okay, so let me just show you this. I did figure out what these little stakes were for. These were taped back here back here remember and if you watched my first video first part this this they were taped and this here is your um leveler down here and so i took all the tape off and um but we're not going to use these stakes today because we're not putting it on the ground but they're nice to have so if you do decide to use your sun oven in the ground, um, that leveler that's in the back, um, when it sets on the ground, I'll show you when we get out there, um, when we tilt it. Um, these could go on each end of the leveler and you can keep your um, sun oven, you know, especially if it's like windy, you know, that's what they're for. So we're gonna leave these in and um, the rest, we can just go ahead and go on out to the deck. Okay. I did register. Make sure you register your sun oven if you get one. I did that yesterday and downloaded the uh, recipes and the manual and got all of that on my uh, notes folder. So under my sun oven. So if I ever need anything, I'll have it handy right on my phone. Or you can put it on your computer. Whatever's good for you to put your um, information. Okay, so hey, let's grab the sun oven and um, we'll take it outside. Here we go. Okay, here we are, and um, I just wanted to show you down here at the bottom of your um, sun oven is your leveler outside, you know, where you can tilt it, you know, you can tilt it either way, and there's those two holes that I was talking about if you want to anchor it down on the ground, if you have it on the ground, but we're not going to need that, but I may need this to tilt it towards the sun. Hope you can see it's a little far, but um, you'll get the meaning. We need it to be right in the sun. Okay, here we go. Woo, is it hot? Already it's hot. It feels like, you know, I haven't even taken a shower today. But, um, okay, so we're gonna go ahead And set this up. Ooh, is that beaming? 
Okay, hopefully you can see. And I'm gonna tilt this. There we go. And um, we're gonna open, we're gonna go ahead and open this and get this um, going. There's this little tab here that holds the uh, shades in place. So we're gonna go ahead and put that in so that they don't wibble around. And I have my rack in there. And uh, let me just bring the phone over just for a moment and explain some things. Okay. As you can see, the, um, hope you leave. Hopefully you can see this thermometer and um, it's on zero inside. Oh, I have to undo the glass, which these little tabs will uh, sh show you how to do. Now, when we come back out, we'll have to have our mittens on because this will be hot because this is all heating up as we speak. So this is your glass, but right now we need to make sure that the, the glass is shut. There it goes. Okay, so now, now what I need to do, I need to take the, um, and align I need to take these and align it with the Sun right now it's in the shade and um, you want the Sun hitting those holes right in the middle there so we're going to align the um, I'm going to try to align it and then I'll bring you back over once we get the sun right in the middle of those holes. So give me a minute. And I know we're putting the phone down and up and down, but this is how we have to do it right at the moment. So, um, I adjusted it on three, lifting it up. Phew, it's not hot. Okay. It does look like to me that it is in the sun fully um, it's not shaded um, so now so now we um, that looks like it's in the sun and that one's in the sun and you see how shiny the sun oven is and right now my thermometer is already at a hundred degrees. And um, I wish I could show it to you. Let me see, hopefully it'll show it to you. We're at a hundred degrees already, so it's climbing. So now what we're going to be doing is letting this sun oven sit for 30 minutes. So it's 11, so around 11.30, I will come out and do the next step. So we'll be right back out. It's empty. All it has in it is the level um, frame, um, the, tr uh, the iron crate thing, 
to keep your pot level when you're cooking. So that's inside there. Be, uh, it's already installed. So we got our latches on the uh, glass door. The um, solar panels are wide open. And uh, we're going to count down for 30 minutes. And then we'll be, we'll be back to do the next step of getting it prepped before we cook. All right, it's been about a half hour since we um, put the sun oven, sorry, car is going by, um, since we put the sun oven in the uh, actual sun, and I did find a good tip um, as I was adjusting and putting it in the direct sun. I find, let me just show you. Okay, so we're in, we're in front of the sun oven where those two white knobs are, you know, that you're supposed to align it up with the sun. But I find if you walk behind the sun oven and look down, let me see if I can get it. I find if you look right in that slot, you'll see the, sh the uh, glow of the sun right on that hole. And I hope you can see that, but that's how I found, at least on this one, not so much on the little one, but that big one. Um, I find that, you know, right there, you can see the sun is in line. And if not, you can move and move your sun oven around to um, get it in the spot that you need it to be in alignment. Now, what we need to do next is, well, they say we need to clean the sun oven before, you know, just like your regular oven. Um, you know, you want your oven to be clean when you put food in it. So this is no different because you treat it as if it, it is an oven. And um, it's at 300, eh, 275, 280 right now degrees. Believe me, you don't want to be sticking your hands in there um, without having some mittens or some hot pads. So the next step is to get a pot of water, which I have my pot. I have my Dutch oven right here, which is probably not gonna sit there, but my Dutch oven, and it has two cups of water and a few drops of liquid soap, dish soap. So we're gonna leave that right there while I open, and I'm gonna put mittens on, so I'm gonna put the phone down I brought my mittens, my hot pad and my mitten to open the door on the glass, just like so. And um, so we're just gonna go ahead, cause we're at almost 300 degrees. So I'm gonna go ahead and just adjust, undo the, the knobs on the glass, cause it's very hot. And this is your handle right here. Right there is your handle. And we're gonna take our, our pad and we're gonna open this glass cause it's gonna be hot. And you don't wanna be touching anything. And now I'm gonna try and do this. I'm gonna put my other mitten on. Hold on, I'm gonna, and there's your level rack, your leveler. That's to keep your pan um, straight so it doesn't rock back and forth. So now I am just going to come over here. And thank goodness mine has a uh, actual handle. And we're just going to walk this over and very carefully set it. on there and um i probably should have moved it over just a hair let me pick that up 
put it more in the middle. There we go. Okay. Now, we are going to go ahead and take our glass door again very gently and close the door again and try to get these knobs to close And it's kind of hard with that one, so I may have to use the other one. You'll just have to use whatever works for you. And we're going to close that knob. They are hot. Okay. Well, I'm going to have to put the phone down again because you can't do this one-handed. All right. So, you get the meaning. We're going to have to shut those tabs on the um, sun oven. So, I'm going to put my mitten on. And I'm going to press on that glass. There we go. That's what you're going to have to do. And they went right on. Just like that. Takes two hands, not one. Now, there we go. Now it's all sealed again. There's your pot of water. That was tap water. And um, the temperature dropped back down to 250. So now, for the next hour, sorry, I'm sweating. For the next hour, every 30 minutes for the next hour so two times we need to come out every 30 minutes and check to make sure that the uh the sun hasn't moved right there and if you have to adjust and turn your sun oven you will adjust it as you need and if it's still in the sun then there's no need to adjust but in an hour it should be ready and then we'll be able to come out and what we're looking for is steam coming from the pot and hopefully on the window to show us that it's been working and heating so that we can clean inside the oven the sun oven and prep it and get it all clean okay well we'll be back in an hour as soon as uh the sun oven heats up and then we'll check it in 30 minutes and if i have to adjust it in any way i will realign it to make sure that it's still aligned in the sun okay we'll see you in about an hour well, it's been just about an hour, so let's go check the sun oven. Oh, wow. It's pretty warm out, too. Whew. Let's see if you can... Well, I think it's doing what it's supposed to. You can see the steam on the glass. And now, hopefully you can see that. Um... I can't see the thermometer. It's about, still about 250. I did have to adjust it. And um, before it was tilted. And now it's, um, it's flat. It's setting flat. And if you can see right there, the sun, I had to adjust it so that the sun was right in that hole there. Um, you want it directly in the sun and as you can tell, the glass is steaming. So now, now what we have to do is we have to open the glass using our mittens. And then we're going to remove the pot because the pot is going to be very hot. So we're going to allow that to set out for a little bit. And then we're going to take a rag, which... I brought my mittens and I bought a clean rag out 
so we can clean the glass and the inside around the inside of our um, oven so I'll see if I can do this one-handed if not I'll have to put that phone down pardon me all the traffic seems to be going by today um, but I am going to put on my big mitten in order to uh, turn the uh, knobs and to remove the pan so we'll try to do that together how cool is this huh it is working and I'm so glad so okay here we go very very hot so you want to make sure you release your knobs and then we're going to slowly open the door Ooh, is that hot oh my goodness that pan of water is hot so in order to be safely we're going to safely remove the pot of water because that's going to be warm very very warm so we'll let it sit here right here beside me and let it cool just a little because i'm sure it's very very hot now it says to take your cloth and um take the soapy water and I'm just going to dip it just a little not very much because I don't want to be too hot let me feel that oh yeah that is woo, super hot yeah don't be sticking your hands in there too much but this is very hot so we're going to put my mitten down and I'm just going to uh, take that little bit and um, we're going to clean let me see, I'm gonna get over here. And the thing is that you want to take your rag with your soapy water while it's cooling down. You want to clean your glass. Okay, I'm not gonna stick my hand in there just yet inside there. I'm gonna let that cool down just a little. I would definitely, uh, be doing that okay so you're to clean your glass and um, clean that all off the best you can get it nice and clean and sterilized and um, both sides guess you can do the back side once you're done all done Take your rag, and um, there is a lot of dust particles in there. So I think just for the uh, purpose of the, uh, I'm gonna take the rack, and I am using my rag to get that out because it's very hot. So we will set that on the um, on the deck. So the main thing is you're to clean the glass. And inside, wipe all that out. See all that dust? I don't know if you can see that dust, but there is dust around the corners. So, you're to take your soapy water, okay, and clean the inside. And that is very, very hot. So, um, you will have to let that water cool down some on your rag so that uh, you can get it cleaned. So this is what you're going to do. You're gonna take your rag. I wet it a little bit and I'm gonna go in there and we're gonna clean the inside really well and wipe it out. And then that's it. And then your sun oven is ready to be used. Um, so after that, we can button it up and uh, take the sun oven back in the house. And that's how you prepare. And every time that you need to clean your sun oven, you would go through the same procedure. Set it in the sun, give it a half hour to warm up, put your water in there, let it get good and warm and uh, for about an hour. And then be careful because it's very hot. 
and then come back out and clean your sun oven out, wipe it out with soapy hot water. And then you should be good to go to start clean, start cooking. So I want you to check out the next uh, the video. If you hadn't seen my first video, part one, part one is when I first got the sun oven when it, when it arrived. Part two is going to be the accessories that I got that when I ordered the sun oven. So I went over the accessories that you can get and what pieces came with my bundle and which pieces that I purchased extra because um, they are different. And um, just so that you can go back and see those two, part one and part two, this is part three to get your sun oven prepared and ready so that you can start cooking. Well, I hope you found this helpful, and um, I look forward to making a new video with you on when we prepare our first meal or first food in the, our sun oven. So, look for it real soon. Hey, if you have any questions, put it below, and let me know, do you have a sun oven, and what do you think so far? Do you think that's something that you would like to have on your homestead to be more self-sufficient and ready without having to use electricity or gas? What a wonderful thing to be able to um, have on hand and to be able to still be able to cook food. Even in the wintertime, they say. What a blessing that would be to have this and uh, be able to save on electricity and if ever you need it in an emergency what a blessing so hey i look forward to making a new video on when we're gonna cook something and uh so stay tuned hey god bless see you soon